AI agents is the new hype, and it's just not hype. If you have used any of these, you know how cool it is. In this video, I will let you show you how you can, how this AI, this entire AI agent is ordering books from Amazon just for me. I don't need to do anything. I just need to type order this book and it will order this entire thing just for me. By the way, this is just a small use case. You can use the same idea to so many things, to so many scenarios. So let's do this without wasting so much time. And I'm Adit and you're watching Skill Curve. So let's talk about how you can set up your own local AI operator. Well, using an open source framework that is called browser use. It's like very, very free and you don't need to spend $200 just like OpenAI has. Browser use is free, runs on your machine and can even outperform some of the most commercial operators. Wait, what I'm saying? Yes, I'm literally saying the truth. So recently a tool named Operator was introduced and that lets you automate web actions like booking flights, making restaurant reservation. But here's the catch. While commercial systems might look slick, they come with high fees and region limits and annoying confirmation prompts. Browser use, however, is open source, customizable, and any model you want. Thanks to the innovations like Deep Sea Carbon that has been setting up new performance benchmark. So what we're gonna do is first I'll let you know how we can set up it and how we're gonna use it. On the next part, what we're gonna do is I'll explain you each step of how this entire operator AI thing works in depth so you have an idea of actually work process. So first of all, let's open your favorite code editor, maybe it's cursor, VS Code or whatever. Now create an empty project or add a new folder to your work open your terminal and just mark this first step as done. Now what you need to do is you have to clone the GitHub repository. The link is in the description. You can just type git clone in your terminal and that's it. It's done. Now after the entire cloning, just hit enter automatically and you will clone the repository in your browser. Now what you need to do is you have to navigate to the web UI folder and type in CD web UI and clear your terminal screen. Now, it's a good idea to create a Conda environment to keep your setup tidy. For instance, on a MacBook, you can run Conda activate test. Then you can use a built-in command like install rex to install everything listed in the requirement. And once finished, you can clear the terminal again. And step three is completed. That's it. Now, what you need to do is you have to run the provided launch command and you can use browser use locally now. This command start browser use on a local port and there's no risk of external interference. <music> After a few seconds, you can see a clickable links appear and click on that. You will see the browser use in your browser. That's it. You're done. Now what you need to do is you can choose your AI agent type, whether you want an organization or custom agent. For this demo, you can just select custom one or you can just set the maximum steps like 50 is a good start. You can limit actions like per step to 10, enable vision and tool calling feature. You can pick up your model. Browser use allows you to choose between several providers like Anthropic, OpenAI, DeepSeek. If Anthropic API is not working, cause Anthropic API is kind of tricky. Let me tell you, as a, as a developer, I know Anthropic API is kind of risky. So you can use just DeepSeek or maybe OpenAI. Now you can set the temperature to 0.1 for consistent outputs. You can then enter your model's base URL and API key. For Anthropic, you can go .api.anthropic.com or you can log in and generate new API key for your account setting and paste it. Always keep your API key secure, guys. I always say this. Now click on the browser setting. You can tap to close whether to use your current browser session or you can start the new one with every task. In the run agent section, you can provide a detailed task description like instead of go to google.com, you can try something like go to Amazon and purchase this, this, this book by this author and that's it. That's it. You need to do this, this and run the AI agent and damn, now you can see the entire browser will work automatically. You don't need to do all the stuff which you had to do before. AI is handling all your process, all your payments, all your ID. Make sure you give all the credentials because sometimes AI needs credentials to log in in your account. Okay. After all this, damn, you're done. Now you can see how powerful is all these agents are. And it's kind of very underlined for us to see how these agents are actually working. But if you have any error in your terminal, you can always use Curses Composer feature, you know, to paste this output and just play with it.
initially the agent might detect that you are not logged in to fix this you can just simply go to your existing browser session where you logged in or you can just demonstration you can provide your login credentials but make sure always give these details securely because i know a lot of people who don't do this and they just suffer <music> So now you know how this entire AI browser is working and it's pretty cool demo. But now let me break down the entire process step by step. First, the agent receives a command. This could be an instruction you type in a chat window or one given by the automation script. This command is then processed by an AI model that interprets your intent. For example, if you want to say find the cheapest flight to New York to San Francisco next month, the agent then launches a headless browser session to an actual browser window, navigates to the travel website and uses its inbuilt logic to interact with site. Now during navigation, the agent stimulates human behavior. It crawls through pages, uh, clicks on buttons, reads the text on the screen using optical character recognition. If necessary, some advanced agents have screenshot to ensure that they are interacting with the correct element on the page. This mimics how we as human visually verify we are on the right website before taking action. Now, as an essential part of browsing agent's functionality is error handling. Just like human might pause if a website is slow or if something unexpected happens, the agent is designed to detect errors if a web page does not load properly. So if it, the element is not found, the agent can pause and log the issue and even ask for additional input. This robust error handling ensures that automation process remains reliable even when the web environment changes. Browser agents can also operate in headless mode, so meaning they run without a graphical interface. This is especially useful for developers and companies that need to perform large-scale data scrapping, website testing, and automated tasks without the overhead for rendering every page visually. Now, it's important to note that while these intelligence agents are powerful, they are still in very early stage of prototype phase. Companies are carefully testing these tools, monitoring for issues like misinterpretation or commands or delay in execution. Developers are continuously improving these algorithms to handle complex web interface and to protect the entire data for the safeguards and verification. Now, a browser agent is much more powerful than a tool now. For fetching web pages, to booking your entire flight, or booking your entire book from Amazon, you have already seen it. So now you can just try it and you can leverage it and maybe for other use cases. If you like this video, just simply click on like button, share it, and for more such cutting edge tutorial, latest technologies videos every day, just subscribe the channel.